what is up guys welcome to another vlog of stir Sid. right now i'm here in felix berto with some of my friends mga master na ko master shout out to you master master <laughs> nag vlog na ko ron bro mga master na ko sa mga r3 mga team rat o team barakuda so karon chill rami ron rin pero karon mga vlog about my tires since we'll be changing our tires soon of course uh tires are one of the most important parts of the motorcycle dude so guys we have here the stock tire of r3 and ninja 400 this is the dunlop sport max gpr 300 this is a tubeless radial tire they shall buy plus or bias ply rather so guys, kani siya uh, 140 ra ni siya by 70. So that's why dali ra kay siya mahurot if, if you can see. Dali kay siya mahurot ang sides when you do banking. So guys, uh, we're going to review this cuz of course tires are very important jud and most people uh, overlook on these kay they usually they you guys uh, we do exhaust first we we do the design or the stickers first but you know what tires are very important dude guy uh this is the one the, the tires are the one that keeps you on the ground and if you have crappy tires maka cause na siya accident so if you have really good tires it gives you confidence in riding gives you confidence to make that turn uh, you can make that turn make confidently and gives you confidence to lean more on your bike and if you have good tires put for the rain while while the road is wet and if you have cheap tires, I tell you, lahit rajud ang ano, lahit rajud ang dagan kumpara if naadyo kay nindot na ligid. And if your your tire slips, wana jud jijig juga dako yung chance ma jijig ah. Kay, duhar ka ligid ang motor. So, kani, I've been running around about, uh, let me double check, right here. I did about 6,291 kilometers on this tire and most of it is just Trans Central Highway or twisty roads. Um, I did a few long rides but not that not that long just <clears throat> round south so basically about 5,000 or 4,000 kilometers is mostly twisties on this road or twisties on this tire so um, one thing I can say is that the grip with these tires, the Dunlop GPR 300, uh, especially when the road is dry, I give it uh, 5 stars. That's maximum, 5 stars. But of course, this is my first tire. Uh, I did try other bikes like Duke 200 and the tires were not that good. I forgot what was the the tires but for the version one of the r3 they have the michelin and okay that's right beginner rider ka. i'm not saying I'm, I'm good but uh if you ride lang chill touring katong v1 tires michelin is good enough but if you're doing hard riding for like the twisties i suggest you change your tires into a better one but for this the grip is good um i don't feel like it chopping on asphalt or cement so it's really good it really glues you to the ground but if it's wet and you pass by cement or paint it does tend to slip especially if you over twist the tr throttle or oh, it does slip so that's the only downside and from mileage I can't really say uh, I was expecting this would last about half a year and this is just five months going five months 
and I was already riding low or I, I didn't really ride that much the past few weeks because I know the tires are not that uh, thick anymore the thread life is gone so but uh, 6.2 mileage is decent and I enjoyed it <clears throat> I wasn't expecting because this is my first first tire that I will be changing and six I was expecting it would like six to twelve months and wow I'm shocked five months guys you can see I'll show a picture in the screen with that that's six three mileage uh, I usually run that at 30 psi on the twisties and when I did a long ride I did lessen it to 30 which was not good um, if I did properly put the psi to 36 which is the standard this could have last longer the tires but I usually do it at, I usually place it at 30 and that can cause to wear the th thread faster if you have lower PSI but in return your tires will be grippier so with these tires I would really definitely recommend these tires if you are using stock tires especially version 1 but if you're having this for version 2 you can get another one this is very sulit na jud. I recommend this and the front tires uh, as you can see I usually turn harder at the right and mas put put on right side compared to the left side I don't know if you can really see it clearly but the front tire is still very thick because so I usually run at 31 in the front 32 even 33 sometimes but right now I just did it at 31 because I'm not riding as hard as before because I'm scared of my rear tire so yeah, uh, with these tires, I really recommend these tires. Uh, they're solid and uh, I think that will be the end of the video. And uh, shout out to my friends. Uh, shout out to my friends. Uh, put them on the screen. I can't remember all of your shout outs. So shout out, on your shout out to you guys right here, right there, right here, right there. Shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. And guys, since my tires are already done, um, comment down below which tires I should get so I can review the tires, alright? Um, my plan right now, I might get Mita's Sport Force Plus, which is uh, roughly about 14,000. And the other one would be Pirelli. Oh yeah. Sir Jojo, shout out to you with the R1. And the other one I'll be getting would be either the Pirelli uh, Diablo Rosso Sport, which is about 9,000, or the IRC Exato. So, guys, if you have other suggestions, let me know on the comment section below which tires I'll get so that we can review it, alright? And I hope you have a great day. Ride safe for everyone and see you on my next vlog.